What's up, everybody, and welcome to my new series in NCAA Football 14, the Texas Longhorns. I'm starting up a new dynasty. I'm so glad that you're with me. As you see at the top of your screen, if at any time you want to jump ahead, check in on recruiting, or if you'd rather just jump ahead to the gameplay for today, our week one matchup is against number 13, Notre Dame on the road. That's right. I've updated rosters. As you can see, we've got Charlie Strong as the head coach. This is the true 2015 season. All opponents are accurate for the Texas Longhorns, so jump right in with me. And if you want to go right ahead and watch the gameplay, just click that at the top of the screen and you'll jump right to that today. Now, as far as recruiting goes, obviously the preseason is all about just taking a picture of where we're at and then getting the game plan moving ahead. So I'm going to take a little bit of time, just a brief moment here to kind of show you a few of the guys we're going after. Obviously, it's the Texas Longhorns. There is no shortage of talent that is interested in coming to play for us. And that's part of the reason I want to take on the Longhorns is to try to correct what has turned upside down. This ship has sunk and it is uh, struggling to be brought back up to the surface. How can a team as good as Texas with the recruiting that they have struggle in the win column? I have no idea why. I'm going to try to straighten that out. I think with the talent that's on the team and with the talent that's available in the state of Texas in the high school, uh, high school systems there and even in Florida because the Longhorns have a pipeline in the state of Florida, there is no excuse for the Longhorns not to be contending not only in the Big 12 for the title every year but also on a national championship scale. So, and so now that I've got things kind of set up where I want them, we're going after a little bit of everything. We're just going to allow things to progress as the weeks go. And I'll check in with that and keep you up to date on that as well so we can focus in on a couple of key recruits. But for the most part, what I'm noticing is that Texas has some really solid young talent. They also have some really solid talent that are seniors, but there's not a lot of in-between. And so we've got some work cut out for us. I don't know that this is going to be a championship team on paper for the next year or two, but I'm hoping my stick skills can kind of overcome that in the gameplay. And we're going to get our first challenge today. We're on the road to start the 2015 season against number 13, Notre Dame, who right now in real life are just on the outside of the first college football playoff rankings with only one loss on the season being to number one Clemson. So here we are in video game world. Let's see if we can take down the Notre Dame Irish in week one of the 2015 season. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. The Longhorns have a new head man, new theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out. Brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. So Charlie Strong brings in his Louisville style offense. If you remember, Teddy Bridgewater played for him in Louisville. And so we're gonna be trying to use a little bit of a mobile quarterback system at the same time. We've got Jonathan Gray. We're gonna to try to pound the rock as much as we can. He's not a huge breakaway threat, but he's definitely a guy that can help grind it out. I hope to utilize him a lot throughout the season and especially today, if we wanna grind out a close win against these Notre Dame Irish. He's at the 40. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. That's a great and that's not the start we were looking for from our quarterback swoops. Intercepted on the first toss of the season. But the defense is holding strong. We got a fourth and goal. We're bringing the house. Can we stop the Irish? They'll get him for a loss. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Oh, just call me Nostradamus. We sold out for the run. Thankfully, it wasn't a play action or any type of pass for that matter. We hold them there. Tied 0-0, trying to drive down the field and get some points on the board. Let's see if we can have better luck this second drive. And he's taken down at the 42. 42-yard line. It's first down. Stop your body. Despite that early interception, Swoops is standing firm in the pocket, finding the open man. Really opted for those short passes early on. He's going to pick and choose when he takes a shot deep, but he's moving him down the field well so far here in the second drive of the game. Out of bounds at the 32. So we've moved the ball well since starting from our own one. 
Kicks away. Notre Dame holds on defense, but we punch through the long field goal. An early 3 to nothing lead for the Longhorns on the road in the rain. The action here just about set to start the second quarter. So our defense held strong that first goal line stand. They're going to have to be stout throughout this game. We're not going to outpace them in a high-scoring contest. Can we keep it up? There we go. Shutting down that running game, stuffing it inside. Look at that Texas speed, shutting them down as well on the outside with the ball back on offense now. Look at Gray taking the read option handoff, plowing it up the gut to start off the second quarter. A little play action here from Swoops. Oh, he had his man open. A quick catch and Juke might have cut that one loose. Brings us to a second and one here from the 25-yard line. A couple of lead blockers, a nice cut by Gray. Doing the Adrian Peterson. He's not going out of bounds. He's looking for contact. He's taken down at the two. You got to love that. A big bruiser that falls forward when he's getting tackled. Brings up second and inches from the two-yard line. There's the... The read option, Swoops keeps it, and an easy, easy glide in for the touchdown. 10-0 lead, Longhorns on the road. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. And the Texas defense is on point today. Just one step ahead of the Irish. Physically, athletically, and speed, and here mentally. Santos made a great tackle on that screenplay. Good read, and he almost gets an interception. That might have gone for a touchdown the other way. He got his head in there. He forgot to get the hands. That would have been huge. So Notre Dame left with a field goal try here. Plenty of leg here. It's fading, and he slices it. No good. Notre Dame still scoreless. Just three, just under three minutes left in the half here. Texas shutting out the number 13 team on the road. Set, Texas. No better time to take a shot than when you initially cross the 50 yard line. He's got a man, but he can't make the throw. The arm strength just wasn't there. Could have been intercepted. Notre Dame holds another field goal attempt. That one splits right down the middle a 13 nothing lead for texas just chipping away tacking them on bit by bit a nice little halftime cushion another short yardage situation texas just stuffing the run zaire going nowhere a loss of two yards the ball back to the Longhorns after a punt. Swoops. Oh, starts off the second half like he did the game with an interception. Almost an identical pass. Notre Dame looking to score in great position here. Picking up the fourth and two. Go big or go home. Notre Dame going for the victory here. A nice pass. Oh, he punches through two guys. The third guy cleans him up, but it's too late. Touchdown, Notre Dame on the board. C.J. Procise, Malik Zaire threaded the needle. A great, great individual effort there. Touchdown, Notre Dame, 13-7. to Notre Dame is storming back. There's a strike complete, and he's tackling the... So a good pass there from Swoops. Coming off that second interception, you thought he might be a little bit jittery. Looking at dropping that one in as well. With every interception, he just gets sharper. Not what you'd expect from an inexperienced quarterback. It's known maybe more for his scrambling than his arm. Look at him lead Texas down the field, answering Notre Dame. So we've been punching it down the field. Great time for play action. The tight end's open. Oh, 
Oh, and he <laughs> flipped him in the air. Get out of my way. Eat some forearm. Devin Eric Clarington, the freshman tight end. Wow. Wide open, swoops, hits him a little bit behind. Just throws the shoulder in the forearm. Flips the D back into the air. You got to take a look at this again. Freeze that frame, baby. Put that on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Upside down. And inside out. 20 to 7, Texas. What a catch. What a run. Ball on their own 23. Notre Dame is looking for an answer here. Trying another toss out to the flat. Santos. Come on, somebody. Get a blocker on the middle linebacker. Santos is having himself a game laying the wood. Texas stopping the Irish again, getting the ball back, driving down the field. The third quarter's winding down. The clock's running down. Another great throw by Swoops. This guy has got some touch. Reading the defense well, floating it over the linebacker into the tight window, taking a hit. It doesn't matter. Texas ready to score again. They'll bring him down at the one. Mm, and I thought Swoops was in for number two on the day. Instead, it's goal to go. Fullback going in motion. The blocks are there. It's set up and gray. He's not the speediest back, but he gets around the end. Fantastic blocking on the perimeter. Jonathan Gray. Have yourself a touchdown, young man. You've worked hard today. 27 to 7. The Irish better get busy. The clock's ticking. And a sack is not going to help the cause. Zaire having himself a tough day here. Texas doing everything they can to just keep the play in front of them, not getting beat deep here, forcing the Irish to drive down the field. Fourth and six. A little pressure in your face. And it's intercepted. That's going to be onions, as they say in NCAA basketball. That is the ball game. Texas running out the clock here. That's going to be the last play of the game. 27 to 7. Who saw that coming? Jonathan Gray. Toting the rock 26 times. Well over 100 yards rushing. Just a dominating performance. The Texas Longhorns. That's how you take the talent and you put it together. Notre Dame doesn't know what hit them. Truly a great game to play. A lot of fun. Notre Dame put up quite a challenge. And Texas had to play conservative, mistake-free football. A couple of spectacular plays. Some great blocking. Smart defense. Confusing them in the secondary and coverage. Putting pressure on Zaire. Overcoming mistakes and adversity. All character traits that you're looking for when you're trying to build a championship squad. Not bad numbers on the day. Four swoops at the quarterback position. Gray, of course, having himself a day. 120 yards on 26 carries, one touchdown. Swoops got himself one as well. A great day as well from Clarington, the freshman tight end, hauling in five catches, a little over 50 yards. That one huge touchdown, that one's going to be on the highlight reel for some time to come. Keep your eyes on that, young man. And then defensively, of course, Mr. Santos racking up some big time tackles, some big plays. Didn't necessarily total a whole lot of tackles, but the ones that he did make were key stops on third down, preventing some big plays on screen, on a couple of screen passes as well. So a great start to Charlie Strong and the Longhorns in 2015. Join me again next time as we take on the Cow Bears and progress ahead. See you in the next episode.